I thought that the um, uh, I thought that our guys did a great job defensively from about the 11-minute mark of the first half. Uh, all the way through the rest of the game. You know, obviously, Brian came out and made some shots early. I didn't think we had the, the proper urgency that we needed. Um, but, uh, but fortunately, uh, we were able to kind of turn the tide a little bit. I thought Deshaun picked up his energy on the ball. Um, and everyone kind of followed suit. And we were able to really slow them offensively for the remainder of the first half, take the lead, and then continue that into the second half. And I thought that was really the key to us being able to get the victory tonight. Uh, first made 33 of his last 49 shot attempts. Uh, Well, you know, I, I think um, you know, I think he's making some good choices on on what shots to take and what n shots not to take. Um, it's something that we've talked to him about. You know, I thought he did a really great job to start the game, especially. You know, he drives it, he drops it off to Charles Bain on the first play. You know, and, and Charles didn't finish, but it shows, you know, the decision making, the trust that he had um, in order to drop it off there. And then he did it again on the the next pass that he had. And I think if he can start to make defenses wonder what's going to happen when he gets into the lane, I think it'll make him, you know, that much harder to guard. Um, and he and he's playing with some poise. You know, when he gets into the lane, I think he has some more poise. I think earlier in the year, you know, he was going in there a thousand miles an hour, and it was a little bit frantic. You know, now he's kind of able to survey what's going on, know where his reads are, his drop offs are, um, and then playing under control and still being able to finish. Towards the end, uh, he had a breakaway there, but then, or a, a, not a sense, but an opportunity. I don't think he knew that he would have tied his career high. Um, I don't know if that was the best play that I've ever seen. You know, <laughs> like it certainly made it a lot more complicated than it needed to be. But I think, you know, Deshaun's trying to do a good job of thinking about his teammates, and I, and I think um, that's what we'll we'll take from that play. Um, hopefully, I, I, in a closer contested game, he'll go and take the layup next time because you know that that could have got interesting. Um, you know, I've always been told you don't give up a layup to get a layup. And so uh, I thought that, um, you know, I liked the, the, the thought behind it. The execution wasn't the best. Um, three games remaining. Uh, it's a nice and warm uh, for us, a four game tie um, in the NBC standings. Um, obviously, it's going to be tight going down the stretch. But, you know, with the team, you know, seemingly getting it together now, uh, you know, we got to only think about some of the maturity of some of the guys that we have. Well we'll, 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 we'll hold off on how well we got it together. You know, we're, we're going to try and just take each day as it comes. You know, uh, enjoy this tonight. Get those guys to start getting their bodies rejuvenated. Get to practice tomorrow. Get our game plan in for Central. Um, you know, we can't think that we have it together. We have it figured out. I think we tried to do that uh, about three weeks ago, and, and it didn't really work out real well for us. So I think we got to remain hungry, continue to try and improve each day as we come down the stretch here because, you know, there's, there's you know, still obviously – uh, 10, 10 days or so left in the regular season. Uh, and then obviously we're going to get into the conference tournament. And so if we can continue to try and improve and continue to tighten things up, and if that's our focus, I think we'll have a much better chance coming down the stretch other than thinking, hey, we got some stuff figured out. Uh, third straight game that Charles Bain has started. Uh, what does he give you as a starter that uh, you like maybe compared to you know, the guys who have been at that other four spot? You know, I think, he's, uh, I think he's played with really good confidence in, in the three games. I, I think he's played with good energy. Um, you know, I think obviously, you know, he's he's a more capable scorer than than those other guys are, um, and I think you know it, it's it's it allows us to have um, you know a, another shooter on the floor, um, and, and I think you know if he continues to rebound and, and move as well as he is right now, then I think it's something we can continue to stay with. You know, there's sometimes you know even tonight when. Brian had certain lineups out there that it's hard for Ronnie or Dave to match up because they're playing five guys on the perimeter, you know, where Bain has a little bit better opportunity to guard. Same with St. Francis, Brooklyn, and same uh, with LIU at times. And so, you know, there's not a ton of traditional front court guys in this league. And so you need some mobility and you need some guys that can, you know, get to different coverages and, and still be able to um, uh, rebound the ball. And I think he's done all that. And is there a time table with Big Three Andre or is it, you know, earlier this week? Or same, yeah, yeah, exactly right. I mean, he, he tried to go in warm-ups today, and I, I didn't feel comfortable. And so, you know, my hope is that, you know, tomorrow he'll be a little bit better, and then we'll see what happens Saturday. Uh, you guys have been struggling the last couple of games before the LIU Brooklyn game in this one uh, from, shooting from, the, from shooting from behind the arc. What adjustments have you guys made? To um, the last game? You know, we've taken better shots. I mean, that's really been it. Um, you know, I, I think at times previously we felt like, you know, if we got down four or six, we needed to make – three points immediately. And we would settle for some 
three-point shots that weren't good opportunities for us, that weren't high percentage shots. Uh, so we've really tried to talk about you know, their shot selection from the three and not settling, right? Because it's, you know, sometimes you, 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 uh, you know, you take an uncontested three, you know, it, it hurts your ability to re I mean, sorry, a contested three out of rhythm of the offense. It hurts your ability to rebound. It hurts your transition defense. It hurts your morale. You know, when you're just going one or two passes and shooting a contested three and guys are like, well, what is this? You know, it doesn't, it doesn't create the same sense of, of, of team that we want to have. So, you know, we really talked about being more selective in the threes that we take, maybe trying to take them inside out, um, maybe trying to take, you know, at times you might, you're going to be forced to regardless. Um, but sometimes it's nice if those are at the end of the shot clock when you've exhausted all your options versus, you know, after one or two passes just because.